Hey everyone. So about a week ago, um, Rico Rex got rank 1 with this deck on the EU server, I believe. I was excited to try this out as well because I used a similar Overwhelm deck to get to Masters a few seasons ago. I think it was with Renekton and Sejuani though. But this deck seems to benefit a lot from the new-ish card, Drumming Swarm. Since in a long game where you might normally run out of steam, if you have leveled Sivir or possibly even leveled Renekton, you just generate a huge unit every single turn. It's a really cool deck, I think it works very well. You have your 6 1 drops, Treasure Seeker is a really broken like 1 drop that Streamer has, and Omenhawk is also pretty good. When you get this early especially, you can start buffing up your units, preferably your like Renekton, or like stuff like even Ruthless Raider is good, or any of the big Overwhelm units are really, in, really useful to buff up. I kind of actually want to increase the 1 of Shape Stone. I don't really know what you'd cut for it. You don't have to cut like a three sisters, but I think the versatility of three sisters is probably a bit too important. But I think that at least right now, it seems like there's quite a bit of removal, at least what I was playing against today. And I would actually probably have preferred in hindsight to have an extra shape stone, but it's probably just like a tight deck list and to also have the versatility of three sisters is just more important. I guess you could also maybe consider cutting an exhaust, but this is one of the main ways you use to level up Renekton. And it's just a good card in general. A lot of the times you want to make sure you're dragging something to make sure that these overwhelms get in and still survive. Especially with the nerf to Ruin Runner being only 3 health now. It can be really useful sometimes for you to exhaust something and then drag it to make sure this still stays alive. Or maybe even um, doesn't get hurt at all which is really important against like a lot of Swain being played right now. So they have Flocks and Scorched so any of your units getting weak is pretty annoying. And so if you're able to exhaust something, like if it only has 2 attack in general, it probably also has a little bit of health, so you're able to get in a lot of damage, Overwhelm. But also it makes it so they don't do any damage to you, so then they have to invest more spells to get rid of it. Instead of just already being damaged. And I think I mentioned, but yeah, it's like the main way you level Renekton. Rockhopper is really good. The Rolling Sands is really annoying. You can be used to out-tempo people. So if you play this Rockhopper, and you know, or you already have a Rolling Sands on the field on like turn 3 or something like that. A lot of times people will pass because they don't want to play like their important unit into this and just have their unit be killed. And then you can just pass back and then you gain a bunch of tempo advantage on them. But also again, making some things vulnerable is really good for leveling up Renekton. Because when you challenge an enemy you get extra plus 2 attack and 1 extra health. The Ruthless Raider is a pretty cool card in this deck. The toughness makes it really good to buff with like Shapestone or Troll Chant or even Battle Fury obviously. But the other thing is that it's a cheap little Overwhelm card. A lot of times you can use this to be able to activate Battle Fury later. Because late game you can actually do this and Battle Fury in the same turn. Which is harder to do with some other units. Roll Chant, best combat trick in the game in my opinion. Which is super important. Renekton, one of the main champions of the deck. Because of his buff, it actually makes him pretty easy to be leveled up. Although because of all the Swain stuff like that, it's still very unlikely you will get to level him up. But it's at least way more possible than it was before. You have a few different ways to challenge people. You can either use Renekton's spell, which makes something vulnerable and gives you plus two attack. You can use Exhaust, the Rolling Sands, or Merc Hunter. To activate his condition and make sure that he's a six attack overwhelm unit. And it's a good possible buff target later on for your Battle Fury. Now, Sivir doesn't have overwhelm herself. However, it's really easy to level her up because all these cards have a lot of attack, especially if you start using these like Treasure Seekers and the Waking Sands that they generate. You can level her up quite fast. And then giving all of these spell shield is really important. If you can give these Overwhelm spell shield, especially if you can battle fury them later, it's just like a free win against a lot of decks. Rune Runner is still just a really good card. Because of the spell shield, it's a really good target for battle fury. And even though it was nerfed, this deck doesn't feel it maybe as hard as some others would. Because you have like the troll chance, possibly three sisters, the uh, omen hawk and buff it, shape stone, and the battle furies. Just make this card still really good. Alpha Y Claw is just a really good drop for turn 6. 7 Overwhelm damage is really good. And because it has a 6 health stat line, it very rarely ever dies from one combat. And so it's very likely you can try to strike with this again. Ancient Yeti is really cool because it reduces its cost by 1 every turn. So its stat line isn't amazing, but the cool thing is that if you keep it in your opening hand, you can play this on turn 4, I think, for 4 mana, and then it'll be a 5 5 on turn 4, which is really cool. Another thing is if you just play this, like let's say you play Renekton on turn 4 instead. Um, make sure you have both of them in your hand. You can just wait and then this can end up being like 1 to like even 0 mana near the late game. And then you can end up like, developing like a Thrumming Swarm. They play all their mana trying to deal with this. And then you plop a huge Yeti for free or, or kind of any one of these big cards, right? And kind of just surprise them. Thrumming Swarm I think I mentioned earlier, but it's not the easiest to level up a champion in this deck. You're usually leveling up Sivir if you do. 
Um, it's not that hard though. And once you do it, you just end up creating just unlimited, like unlimited throwing swarms. So again, in those really late grindy matchups that normally you just have to surrender because you're kind of out of cards. Now you can just keep getting these. So they have to keep dealing with them. And against some decks, they won't be able to. And it's pretty cheap at seven mana for eight overwhelm attack. Then of course you need your battle furies. This is like the main, one of the main win cons of the deck. For the most part, you're just battle furying an overwhelm unit, preferably a spell shield one, either spell shield from Sivir or spell shield itself like Ruin Runner. But you can obviously also use this on any pass unit, like even an Omaha or something like that, if they let it go through, thinking, oh, it's only one damage. And then you Battle Fury, cheese them, and do eight, uh, nine damage, whatever, basically, because of that. So yeah, that's basically it. I think it's a really fun deck. I love this idea for a deck in general. Again, I've played this for like so many different months already, this type of deck. And it's always fun, especially to cheese those Battle Furies. One uh, tip, I guess, would be because uh, there's a lot of Swain right now, and they need to make something weak usually if you're going to open attack. So they need to have it weak so they can Scorched Earth or Guillotine it or flock it. And so if you can try to cheese out a card like after they tap out one turn, turn six or something like that, like they have a lot of different pings, but once they tap out, you play like a free Ancient Yeti or like one mana Ancient Yeti, and they don't think you can play anything else. And then next turn, you can open attack and Battle Fury onto it. And because they can't actually make it like weak and kill it in the same action, it's like a, it's a guaranteed like 13 damage overwhelm. That's like the main way I end up fighting against like Swain decks is try to make sure you can get a unit that's like not weak. So then you just put Battle Fury on it and they usually can't stop it. But yeah, so that's basically the deck. It's really fun. Like I mentioned, I've been using this for like so many months now, this kind of general idea. And I think that Rico was able to make it like probably more consistent than it used to be, which is really cool. Also, I love Renekton. Um, and so any way I can like any deck I can use to like make him viable is really awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that's about it. If you guys haven't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Maybe even like the video if you liked it. Everything helps out. If you have any ideas of something you want me to play in like tomorrow or like the near future, you can let me know in the comments. I make a Runeterra video every single day, so the ideas definitely help out. <laughs> yeah, hope you guys liked it. Thanks. Oh no, we're playing Overwhelm. Nope, nope, maybe. I don't know. I think you want earlier cards than Renekton Man. Plus, like, they, they're gonna be able to kill him anyway. Go get the shiny Dabu. Gently, gently. Aha! Got a lizard and a I think we want to do this so you can um, it's a trap. use it to attack. Like now you have to play an actual different card to try to trigger. Lurk. Go get the shiny Dabu. Now to just play this. He has to attack. He wants to trigger Lurk. Careful. Gently, gently. <laughs> True. Fight or die. The winter's claw. We go rid of that one. He has ease to play. That's kind of scary, actually. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. Yeah. We can use that. We can send the seeker into that now, which is good. Right, Arda. Never mind. Find your own. Business as usual. 
I think kind of close to leveling up. We can't really do anything else, we can't play that, so we might as well just play this anyways. This is gonna be kind of actually good on like Rek'Sai or something. Guess I'm selling a harpoon tonight. Ain't nobody buying where you're going. I can bring that bring it down to four. And then block with this. But that he might hit lurk though, right? I think I just bring that down to make him not want to attack with that. I'll take my share. <laughs> Make it worth my while. I think we win. I think Blade we win. Let's get a pike spell. But I don't think more. he does, right? Because he, he just played a legit pike. And he missed Lurk right there, right? So... I think we just go for it. Wrap him up tight. Well, this is this is spell shield, right? So we can't even pike spell it. Can we have spell shield. Let's go. Leveled up. That was lit. We smoked him. Guess who just earned her bonus? I didn't really know how if we'd be at the P lurk. Yeah, we're playing against. Oh no. Raven Scion. Yeah, we keep this. Keep this for early. We block the fearsome. I don't know if we keep that. Hey, we got a freaking Omen. Oh. We're chilling. Beneath me and winds behind me. I will run you over. We have to block that, even though we have no turn next turn. Can't steer. Good news is that if, because of this rolling sand, if we pass, you might actually pass back. Oh no, we play this. Now if he plays Draven, we can actually kill it with a freaking Omen Hog. <laughs> the, the Draven nerf. Uh, I think I pass up my two damage. If I lose because of two damage though, I'm gonna be furious. But I think letting him like stopping him from developing there is just too good, yeah, because you want to play Draven and you want us to die. Heroes go hungry. Watch and learn. Okay, we can do some pretty, pretty crazy things this turn, I think. Ooh, maybe we just play that though. You can play Treasure Seeker. What's behind this door, you think? The thing is, I can play Ancient Yeti, gold. and Exhaust, and Waking Sand. I hope he just plays one of those. That's like his whole turn. Okay. I think we go for the more aggressive line then. <laughs> yeah. Got rid of the burns from my face though. Danger that goes like this. Pace. 
I think we're supposed to drag it. Wait, wait. You get more damage if we do this, right? Yeah. Alright, sounds good to me. No. Tell me I dare you. That's not fair. You suck. Oh. I have the best job. Violence, chaos, and destruction. We just play this next turn, right? Because <laughs> I kind of want to be able to battle free, but I don't think it's necessary. So well, let's think about this. This always gets chump blocked by that. This is going to get some damage in, probably like three damage. This gets probably blocked. This gets it in. So we do like, what, three? We have no drag for that one. Um. I think we just play it. If we could play both of these, it may be debatable. I figured he may play Scion. King's God, them all. I guess the downside this of this attack, is though, is that now on. if he has another, um, it's a living. No mercy. Business as usual. If he has another Scion, we lose the game. I'll pull you apart. I've got an axe because he's going to rally here. It. This is going to hurt for you. Okay. I'm a woman of principle. Mine is kill and get paid. Draven out. Strike me. Maybe we have to use this to block. I don't think we want to use Sivir, although maybe we should have actually used Sivir because. We actually want to have overwhelm units alive, right? Death had its chance. I knew we'd have another this one of those. Land is ours. Death follows. We can't. We we lost because we can't let that die. Yeah, we should have just open attacked right there. Let him attack with this, right? We'd, we'd use our, um, we could use our Renekton. After the attack, play our Thumbing Swarm. He attacks this, this turn. By the hour. Yeah, we messed up. Make it worth Why did this? He while. just revives again. Whatever. I guess if he has um burn we lose. He has an axe, but if he doesn't have any burn we we win. <laughs> Dead. 
Ranger pays. I was thinking what we also could have done is we probably should have done it. I was just running out of time, so I just said fuck it. <laughs> but um, we're probably supposed to block with Sivir, and then um, it it dies. We only, we only take six. And as next attack, we can block with something else, and then they got what they paid overwhelm for. map. I think we still die that way, right? I think we took the only line we could, and we're just lucky that we baited out his removal earlier. So that's good. What are we playing against here? Elise Kindred Vi. I'm kinda scared, not gonna lie. So, ooh, we got this. Now if he wants to vow, like, thermo it, yeah, he would never do that. This land is this probably pretty good into a lot of his units. I have only like one house. Leave nothing standing. More damage. I'm just be it. Nah. Game just lag. Naga Kabura sends her blessing. Naga Kabura. Gonna find a gift for an acting, right, Arda? Okay. I'd like to just do this right now. What are you gonna do with that? No, no, no. Man, imagine we had like a shape stone or something. Imagine. Gently, gently. I'm oh, mad. <laughs> Damn it. I feel like this deck needs like more than one shape stone. At least in the meta right now with all these annoying ass things going around. Like ping stuff. He probably wants to bank for. Nothing's lost. Oh. It's just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. What's it called? Like ruination or something? But he won't be able to unless he kills us right, like pings us right now. But he'll have to use literally a vile feast or mystic shot because he'd need to have enough mana for ruination. Next. One girl wrecking crew. Um. Okay. Justice first hand! Freeze! Get back here! Um, let me do this right now. This will threaten that. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. Careful. This one's healing. I don't know what we do about that. Curse relics. Of a fair fight. Makes sense. I move forward. Oh, would you look at this place? You cannot hide forever, Nasus. Imagine I can buff this and he fucking. Vengeance. I 
can't play that and get ruinated. I have to just trample them. Rage. Don't look at the screen. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> Let's go. He's getting thermo. He probably was on ruination. So I think we just played around it by just fucking sending it in. He didn't have legit vengeance. We were chilling.